All right, we're live. I'm going to attempt to screencastify how to do this. The five minute bell just rang, but we're going to go for it. So, first, click the link. You can pause this at any time. Excuse my amazing haircut. I'm a bum. Import file. Hopefully, you downloaded these. They should be saved in your drive, preferably in a physics folder. So, you can see my Chromebook's really flying today. This is in, oh, all right, here we go. Regents physics, yours will be saved in a different spot. Here we go. Let's go with video one, open. Spinning, 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 spinning. All right, I've got four minutes. Finish this. This may take a little time. Here we go. So there it is. It's uploaded. So the first thing you do, you hit system. Now you set this, and this scales the image. So this way the computer knows exactly how long or the size of everything is. So I set that up. I just put it right along the meter stick. So that says that that many pixels on the screen is equal to one meter. So I can do the math for you. Then you hit add track. Just click it twice, maybe three times there. That's what we want. Then you can slide and adjust this till you see the ball on the screen. That looks good. And then you simply just click the middle of the ball each time and you get a nice little dot. Continue to do this until the ball, does that go, is off the screen. Halfway there. Some exhilarating physics work here. I bet my focus face looks wild. Make sure you're clicking right in the middle of the ball each time. And now it is close to the end, at the end. So there you go. That's your motion dot diagram. You can even rewind it and play it back and it all appears. Looks good. So based on the separation of these dots, is it constant velocity? positive or negative acceleration, All right? Hopefully that helps.